What's going on guys? DHR2. So we're going to react to everything wrong with Batista Returns 2019. I heard that he beat up Ric Flair celebrating his 70th birthday. Um, but we're going to see what Christian Miracles thinks about all this. So let's get on to it. Anytime there's a cake in a WWE ring, you know shit. They always drive me down. crazy with that. Who cares? Hold on. Even wearing a Ric Flair robe, Renee. What are you talking about? Also, as much as this moment that's about to occur was shocking, unpredictable, and awesome, I feel bad that all this stuff was set up for nothing. Even for Ric Flair's damn birthday, the authority can't help but make it all I cannot themselves. stand this group. God, they're so annoying. Yes, they are. Just consider him to lick some of the icing on the cake. There's always got to be that asshole who considers that. Roman Reigns returns to Rick. Honestly, when I heard that noise, I thought the Dudley boys were about to enter the arena. <laughs> <laughs> the pyrotechnics anymore and snap back into reality. To the reason that we are here. To the reason why we are here, coming from the guy who has no hair. Yeah. We already have invited guests. It's the WWE wrestlers on the stage. It'd make more sense if Stephanie McMahon said more invited guests who aren't here because they each require an entrance. Shawn Honestly, each of the guests' appearances would be a lot cooler if Stephanie wasn't announcing their names. Hearing the music is always the best introduction. In the words, I'm sorry. Don't forget I love you. I'm really sick and tired of these superstars always lining up you know, standing on stage for what? Like everybody can just come in the ring and celebrate Ric Flair's birthday instead of just like standing on stage. That's the one thing that drives me crazy. Powerful words Shawn Michaels said when he retired Ric Flair. They were pitted together. They would become. Ricky Steamboat is lucky that Vince McMahon wasn't on the stage. If he did anything to him, he would have gotten suspended from his WWE exactly. role. Exactly. It'd be awesome to see Kurt Angle had we not already seen him wrestle about an hour ago. Wheeling, dealing, styling, and profile. Hunter mixed up the way Ric Flair usually says these catchphrases. Yeah, this, yeah, the this is why AEW is going to be. One of the same video it's going to be the best company. Times already? Sure, why I swear not? to you, you like just watch. Any sort of danger or anything. Good to see the WWE World Heavyweight Championship again, but damn it, you guys are really pulling at us wanting that title back. Can we please replace the Universal Watch Please. please. I don't want to see that fruit roll up championship looking title. Camera, man. I bet he would have easily followed Dave Batista with a simple follow me. But still, all the sins I just added have been removed because literally none of us saw that coming. We all figured yeah, I didn't see it either. To further add into our feud with Charlotte and I did Rousey, see a clip on YouTube. Damn, WWE fooled us and I'm loving every second of it. What? <laughs> handles the cameraman to get all this on camera, but proceeds to not have his assault on Ric Flair caught on camera. I know it's because Dave didn't legit assault him, but I'm just saying that's hold up, strategy. hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I I gotta, I got. Apparently, beating up a 70 year old man is exhausting. <clears throat> From the sounds of things, all Dave did was throw Rick around a few times before dragging. Yeah, him you can say that. Do I have your attention now? Who are you, CM Punk? Also, why would Dave need Hunter's attention anyway? The last we saw him, Dave bragged about last year. Oh, SmackDown, crappy 1000 episode. All right, let me just say this. Last year's crappy 1000 episode of SmackDown was not good at all. I mean, that was one of the worst tributes I've ever seen. Just like Raw 25, SmackDown 1000 was absolute garbage. So the fact that Batista is coming back to set up a WrestleMania match with Triple H is pretty good. But you guys know I don't watch, you know, the WWE like I used to because we've seen how bad the product has been. The pattern to the to the kids nowadays and overbooking Roman Reigns like crazy, milking the crap out of him like no other. Uh, but you know what? In all honesty, this this is probably one of the best things that Raw has ever did. Um, just seeing Batista back was really great. Um, and 
And somebody said that Raw was good this week. I don't know, but I don't care. But it, so is SmackDown. SmackDown still sucks because of the New Day. But I heard that they're planning on pushing um, Kofi Kingston um, to a to a World Heavyweight Title. If so, they better do it soon because I think he should he should turn heel at WrestleMania 35. That would have been the perfect opportunity for the writers to think out of their buttholes and just think smart and make it happen. That's what I would have done. And that way, the new day would be no more. Because all of us are sick of the growth. They're fruity, they're childish, and they're not even funny. But at least Kofi Kingston is basically doing something different. You know, because he is, well, he was the most popular wrestler when he first debuted back in 2008. Oh, come on. What? Ah. <sighs>